What's up guys? Welcome back to Earth. Actually, today, there's a bigger topic to help open more our inner mind against these simulated universe. But please, don't get it wrong that I used the word simulated. Look it up yourself. It's obvious we are for sure simulated beyond reasonable doubt. I mean that someone else, that most times, browse or clicks our mental operating system, or maybe call it our software, but there are clicks carried out by someone else. I mean daily, hourly or even every single minute that passes. Trust me, if not, we can be what we happen to be at some circumstances. Or maybe, it's circumstance itself that performs the clicks, or someone else clicks us into the circumstance. I know you may be forced to think this video is just another rational gesticulation, but I will disclose to you within minutes my personal findings and observations. Hold on, why don't we do this like a game? You will be an investigator, and I will be acting as your informant. Like we all know, an intelligent police investigator always must cross-check all the information from his informant before using or maybe trashing it. Now sit back and relax, the truth hurts to hear, remember? Are you ready for this? If yes, keep listening but please leave your final judgment in comment section below. Let's hit it hard then. Everything in this universe looks simulated, more like some sort of Hollywood movie. Not only that. But it's also obvious that our simulators are the most intelligently coordinated among all simulators. The whole lot of our new discoveries have compelled scientists to confirm that the higher advanced talented master planner carried out this well-tuned, intelligent, protected and well-coded universe, starting from space, time, the atmosphere and many other particles so numerous to mention. But the question remains, who is simulating us, for who, and why are we being simulated, not also forgetting, by what ways are we being simulated. Since this question had always plunged us back to wonder, and further our space explorations, in search of the truth and knowledge, why don't we sit back a bit and think about it this way. Since everything around us has been discovered to be actually created, coordinated or simulated as the recent debate which mostly based on the new theory that we are living in simulation, I do perfectly agree, this is becoming too much. I also do feel clicked sometimes guys, gosh, please just pretend you never heard me confirming of feeling clicked at times, but on a more serious note, we should not also allow our curious nature to lead us to the destruction of all mankind. We have to remember that nature leads us to begin what is now known as science. From the biblical explanations of creation, nature existed before God, so therefore, existed as well before science or any man-made telescopic device. We have gone outer space, a little beyond our planet and in nearby planets, that's cool, right? But do you know what freaks me most? We did all this exploration with no letter of invitation, or even to seek for visa like we do when traveling abroad. Hey, I'm not done. We have satellites mounted in the deepest part of space, snitching other innocent and uncorrupted galaxies. Don't we think that we are exceeding or have already exceeded our jurisdiction, in the Milky Way. Let's remember, the Milky Way is not for us alone. I'm so damn concerned now, and I think this is the right time we start to rethink. We need to change our perception of this world being simulated by only a mere pre-advanced civilization, pre-assumed to be living in a nearby planet, or within the entire Milky Way. Let's make it a little easier. Yes, we are simulated to avoid further argument, everything is strange and mysterious. But, is the universe scientifically or spiritually simulated? 
At least the Bible stated it clearly. In the beginning the universe existed, but without form. God then may be as the highest magician among all magicians of their time, for being that he was the most talented simulator, then separated everything, and also coordinated them the way it appears to be seen. So there is no way to find the truth, regarding all this mysterious things happening around us, or even finding the true secret of nature using only scientific calculus. The secret behind everything we see, are spiritually coordinated. As human either spiritually or scientifically simulated, we do at times have some kind of downgrading, or as the case may be, needs to be upgraded either willingly or forcefully. Don't tell me you guys already forgot Microsoft insisting the upgrading of Windows 7, 8 to 10. That is how it works, but this was an example. Our downgrading, or the upgrading of our simulated operating system, is mostly done at night while we pass on to sleep. We are not going to accept any more of their brainwashing for science, technology, or even any of their related entities to challenge spirituality stands on a shaking hand sinking ship, also has a little and too tiny unadventurable possibilities. I want lucky to have been raised in Africa, I mean in the traditional region, in the thick western part of Africa. Guys, there are more power spiritually, than any scientific explanation had assumed, or pre-assumed. In fact, spiritism is the only language of the gods and nature. I have been witnessing so many annually celebrated public spiritual ceremonies in Africa, from my early childhood till date. We do have smartphones, right? But I want to tell you these guys, no matter the smartness or dullness of your camera or telescopic device, there are locations during some of the African traditions, and numerous other ritual sacrifices that cameras cannot and will not forever capture. Yes, recording is not allowed at those locations, but you are not forced to put down your phone, or your camera. It's an open ceremony, with thousands of viewers from all walks of life. Even if you want to try recording in secret just to satisfy your doubt, like uncountable visitors from the Western world had tried, the indigents will happily help you or cover you up, just for you to prove to yourself the power of nature around them. But, after all said and done, you will see that all the faces will be clearly seen in high definition, but the rituals or spiritually related items used during their activity, will blur out completely or have some sort of color masking. I have commonly seen people with spiritual protection that rendered them beyond destruction by gun knife, or even any other form of sharp weapons. People can easily escape from car accident, or plane crash, just by spiritually transporting themselves out of the danger, and leaving behind their empty body at the scene. Just like we see people disappearing and reappearing in horror movies. My dearest and most beloved brothers and sisters, it's the time for us to individually search for our spiritual sources of breakthrough and inspirations. Even most of the publicly respected elites, politicians, celebrities, not excluding higher-ranking scientists, do all at one point or the other get involved in some occultic activities, while some are associated with some higher or underworld of spiritual gambling. Guys, is this not a conspiracy going on? Or are we created to be inferior, or foolish as human? Why can't they at least, just find a way to describe us a little more better, than characters seen in some cartoon network? We have already been fooled for so long, enough is enough. Ask yourselves, are we originally made to be like the characters Tom and Jerry? or if somebody, organization, government, 
Or maybe an alien is trying to simulate us like characters. Living in a projected cinematic Hollywood. That's what we all need to think. And we will surely bring the truth to light. Think about this and leave us a comment. Please, don't forget to subscribe. But if you already did, just go ahead and smash the like button. Thanks for being a part of this great generation. One love keeps us together as one.